So, right, let me get this up on the laptop and then I can oh, see yeah, what we've got Right, so we've got puff pastry, just Mommy. ready made, puff Mommy. pastry. George is going to help in a minute, the two of them's not doing it together, so she's on her Kindle downloading okay. everything. That's it, keep rolling it out. We don't want it too thin, but we don't want it too fat either. But you should be able to get a nice few. Mummy, can I tell you something for one minute? Remember how you download the ice cream thing? That was the wrong one. This is the right one on my tablet, not that one, this one. There's Jane on ride as well. Hi Jane. Right, keep rolling. So, these, if you don't bake them straight away, you can freeze them. Just put them in the freezer and then when you're ready to have them, or you want them for that day, just take them out of the freezer and bake them. As long as you've not glazed them, they'll be absolutely fine. Okay, I'm what are you doing? Right, so let's set off for hello now. We can see who's on. So, if you're watching in the group, welcome to the group. If you're in my cake recipes, decorating, and tutorials group, this is. My group that was started years ago with Susan, who's the main admin for the group, but it will also go on to YouTube as well. So um, if you hear me answering random questions you don't know what I'm talking about, it's because it's on YouTube. Right, let me stop putting faces at me. <laughs> Who's putting faces at what? Danielle's putting faces at me. Hi Pauline. Puff pastry and blackberries. Oh, I love it. We've got we've kind of raided the kitchen for what we've got left because we actually need to go shopping and I've just kind of got what I can get in. Right, so you just need to cut them into strips. So I would say like two inches wide, and then you want them maybe about four inches long because you want a nice a nice rectangle. Oh yeah, you can you can neaten that off and just screw that up into a ball and lab it in. And I'll pack it here. So. Oh, yes. oh my god, this, this, it's coming on. There we go. Butter knife's absolutely fine for puff pastry. It's good for the kids to do. So what have we got? We've got, I've got three different types of jam. Marmalade, pesto, cheese. I've got some onions, some mushrooms, some sliced apple. So I've wrote down a couple of good ones that you could do. The jam is quite good actually. I'm going to come and open this in front of you so you can see while Daniel's doing that. The jam ones are really nice, but you could probably do with a bit of a filling because maybe like a bit of fruit. It's still like a nice jam sandwich type thing, but Mommy, maybe do with a bit of in it. Because you're trying to I think with Georgia we're going to do some mini pizza ones, so I've got tomato puree, cheese and Andrew really likes pesto and cheese so I'm going to do some of them as well. Right, so you could probably, what have you got out of that? Four. You could probably cut all of them in half. She's got her two, about two inches. You could probably be able to cut all of them in half and you'll be able to make eight. Yeah. Easy peasy. If the pastry was frozen before, is it okay to freeze? I don't know. Let's have a look. Mine's just frozen too. Let's read the instructions. Nothing's going on, Mum. If thawed, use within 24 hours and do not refreeze. That's what it says, but definitely check your, your instructions. I imagine if you buy the fresh ones, but they should trust it fine, but definitely stick to the instructions on your packet. Right, Danielle, do you, are you doing eight completely different ones, or are you doing... Eight completely different ones. Right, what's your first one going to be? Jam. Right, so what we've found is... Oh, hang on, I need to drink a cup of water. It's easier to get a little seal around the outside first and then Mommy, put your filling in. It. For the first one, I've got some blackcurrant conserve. Blackcurrant jam posh. Yeah. So, what we're going to do, we've got just a little cup of water. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. So, you can get your finger and just kind of go around the outside like that of one half. Put your filling in the middle. Flop it over and then squish the sides down. Okay, mm. that's all you need to do. Are you, are you I can't see this. 
Yeah, well that'll be nice. And if you don't fill it too full either, that might be a, a wee bit much, yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's gonna, yeah, gonna jump everywhere. That's fine, but you can squish that over. That's okay, you're gonna make some of these in a minute. Yeah, but because they don't work. My tablet doesn't work. Yeah, it does work. What does it mean? Um, can I go around the sides of the fork? Yeah, no. you can press the sides down with the fork and give it a nice little crimped edge. It's okay, lady. I didn't think that. What's the key? Yeah, I think that's because it's quite runny, that one. But like the, the raspberry jam is quite a bit thicker. Okay, that's the first one we'll put. Um, holes on the top of the fork. Well what we'll do is we'll make them all up first and then we'll glaze them and um, stab a wee hole in the top to let the steam come out. So you can pop them on a wee plastic tray just now. They kind of look like ravioli. Um, right, the next one I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to do the um, Right, Mrs. here. Jigsaw, Jigsaw carnage! Yeah. What we've just um, I've just discovered well, this Disney, Disney Plus. It's like uh, Netflix. Ah, really? It's got all the Disney on it. Every single bit of Disney. A tiny called Fern. 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 Oh, Fern. Yeah, that's not. Fern. Hey, why did you find that fish? Oh, okay. So we're gonna spend the rest of the afternoon watching every single Disney movie mm. ever. Ever invented five rum on brilliant. What, what's everyone been up to? Like everyone bored of being stuck in the house yet or are they enjoying it? You bored have you put water on the outside? Yeah. That's really full. Yeah, I think. Like, I think you can maybe take a bit out of that. So she's got like a small spoonful. She could stretch it a bit a bit more as well because it is pasty, it'll just stretch. Press it down. I tried doing a roll earlier on for in fact, I'm going to do a cheese roll just to show everybody my neck a bit of yours. Where's the cloth? The cloth? I put it up there. It's okay. Do you want them? They'll just all be a bit, a bit pink. So, you can get a strip, put some water on it, and then if you put some cheese down your strip, should you do cheese and onion? Yeah. Make sure we don't get in that on the wee jam. <laughs> on the wee jam. Mm. And leave a strip at the top and then you can just roll it up. Make a little sausage roll. And I've done the marmalade one. Done the marmalade one. That's yeah. really cute. Mm. Make a little mini sausage roll. Press the sides down though. For this one, I think I'm going to do a cheese and mushroom. Ooh. So we're just going to put make a load up and pop them on the tray. And then we'll do some glazes and we need to stab the top with a knife or a fork. If it's a little kid, so I'd, I'd let you use a fork. Let the steam come out. Yeah, stick some water on it. just makes it stick better. two trays of these by the time we're done so that's yeah. quite good because that's a couple of days worth of snacks snack mud in this house um where's the knife got a wee knife there you go yeah. jelly cheese and mushroom should i do some little pizza ones oh no in fact i forgot no wait till georgia speaking i've got less pastry than that i'm, I'm gonna do my favorite i've got a bit of butter in my cup a little bit of butter Hi! It's your stepdaddy watching. Hi Ian. Brown sugar. Cinnamon. I need to take some of this cheese out actually because I've got mushrooms just put on it. It's okay. You can, don't forget you can stretch the pastry if it's a Stretch it out a bit. So what I'm going to do is cinnamon. Brown sugar, cinnamon, water. As if, as if I was doing cinnamon swirls. But I've got a bit of apple chunks that I've cut up already just to give it a bit of substance so it doesn't all melt into the pastry and it's just nothing left 
There's Auntie Laura watching. Hi. Hello. Laura, do you know about Disney Plus? I've just signed up to it. It's got every single Disney everything. I'm going to spend the whole week watching every Disney movie going. Seven days for you. <laughs> it's seven days for you. That looks, it looks really gross actually. It's brown sugar, butter and apples, but see once it's cooked, actually lovely. Uh, this one. And you're crimping the edges down on that as well. So Danielle's just pushing a wee fork into the edges just to keep the seal together when it goes in the oven. This one is cheese and mushrooms. Cheese and mushrooms. That's one of your favourites, isn't it? Yeah. Mum, can I play you too? Oh, you do like mushrooms. Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. I'm going to steal another bit off you from my... She has nice taste to Oh, right, okay. I'll open it all up. It's going to be good, that one. Where's our salt and butter? I don't know what it is. Is it not in the dishwasher? No, you'd mix it with the... Um, clay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you covered it in clay. Hmm, I like this one. I've got the puree there as well if you want to do like a pizza one. Yeah. So, just a little, sp I would spread it, tomato okay. puree, spread it on. Mm -hmm. And it won't really need any water, but it'll probably stick in anyway. Cool. <laughs> spread it on, bit of cheese, bit of filling. Do I mushroom and cheese? Um, hide. Oh, that'll be nice. That'll be nice. That'll be nice. That'll be nice. So, these take about 25 minutes. I tried some in the oven earlier on and they just weren't quite done at 20 minutes. But gas 7, I think that's 210. I was going to do it with gas 6, but it just wasn't. Just wasn't cooking them. Um, Put some tomato puree, some cheese. Yes, yeah, some great as mozzarella. I'm going to do some onions. Mine's just going to look well scruffy because I've not even rolled it out. I've just, I've just pulled it out. It's my fault. It's because you're not sharing. She's got more dough than me. It's not fair. That's fine. Mine's just going to look like a Cornish pasty. Like so it looks like. Yeah, you know the pasties you get? Where yeah. you put potato and carrot and. Uh, yeah. I'm make it look like a Cornish pasta that crimps it in. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna cut up I would definitely make some sausage meat ones and some pasty ones, but for kids who don't. I don't want to mind messing with raw meat anyway, so. Apart for. Something you're not allowed to do, but well, you could do it, but she couldn't. <coughs> sausage meat, make your own sausage rolls. Haggis ones, like haggis and sausage rolls are popular. Black pudding and sausage. Same thing. I'm a vegetarian pizza. Veggie pizza, what have you got? Puree, <laughs> mozzarella, yeah, don't mushroom, cheese, <laughs> cheese onion. You could put a bit of seasoning on that as well. We've run out of pizza seasoning, but it's okay. We're not going shopping. We're locked in. I'm going to let Georgia make some. So, yeah, 25 to 30 minutes. So, if your wash is on top, the ones that have got the jar in, it's quite nice if you just put a little sprinkle of water and then you can put a wee sprinkle of sugar on top of them. That kind of gives you a nice crusty top like what you would get with an apple turnover. You could put your egg wash on, that would give you a nice shiny glaze. A um, milk wash, I did a milk wash on earlier on. Um, that one there, Phil, it's that one. Oh, yeah. I actually dusted it in ice and sugar, but it's not, it's not too bad, it's just golden. And then the cheese one, this is a cheese roll. I'm gonna cut these open in a minute. This has got salt and pepper and sprinkled cheese on top. That's why it's brown. Um, right. 
you can glaze them with normal glazes like apricot jam. You would just kind of brush a little bit on top before they go in the oven. Marmalade will work fine though. Ruth, are you just using your blackberries just as they are? Or are you making them into like a kind of jam? jam? Fruit, fruit's quite good. If you soften it in a pan for a couple of minutes, a bit of sugar, cook it down slightly before it goes in. Just give them plenty of room because they'll explode. Oh, you can't have a whole load of these two. Well, not really. You want to do any more pizza ones? Yeah. Yeah, I think George loves a load of pizza ones. I think that's, that's how the pesto ones that George will put in. I don't like pesto. I'll do some, I'll do some cheese and pesto ones for Andy. Um, Last two, I think I'll do another pizza one. Yeah, yeah. It's a shame we've not got any alarm. Right, okay. So, first, I need to add some tomato puree. Love. I'm going to bring that phone right up so you can see. Now. I should keep these going for a wee while. What kind of washes are you going to put in yours, Danielle? What are you going to try? Depends what type, though. I don't know. I can't remember which one's which. Um, mm, just put them in the oven. You put a bit of water on top, a bit of salt and pepper, or? Yeah, I'll put some water. You want to make some now? Right, come wash your hands again. I'll give that chopping board a little light down as well for Right, um, just need to do one more after this. Yep. And chop some rice. Right, so if I sprinkle some brown sugar on your sweet ones. Yeah, so if you can remember which ones are the sweet ones. Yeah, I can see the jam poking out the sides. Oh. Right, give your hands a wee dry. And marmalade. And we'll get you some pastry going in a wee minute to it, okay? Can I have a taste test? A taste test? Yeah, do you want to try one that I made earlier? Uh, do you want a cheesy one or a jam one? Jam one. I, know. I don't like cheese. You, you don't like cheese? I no, I love the cheese, cheese, but I just don't want the cheese free the food. Right, well that's the jam one. I don't forget they're roasting when they come out the oven. Absolutely roasting. Right, there's another pizza one now. Oh, lovely. And last one, I think I will do just a plain cheese one. Do you want um, a bit of salt and pepper or anything going on top of your cheese ones? Yeah. Just my cheese one now. Forgot about water. Yeah. Let's hope we'll get these the right around now. I can definitely see cheese sticking out of <laughs> I don't like paper, so I just put salt. I've got that nice pink sea salt. Yeah. Or seasoning, even. Loads of seasoning. Yeah, for me, I'll. Oh, would have died. Okay, now Daniel's phone's running out of battery. Let's give up working. Okay, now that's my last plain cheese one. Right, okay, so. That's the mandates. I've got these on the oven tray. I need to leave a bit of space between them because. Can I try one of these? They'll swell up in the oven. Yeah, of course you can. Hmm. Which one? What one do you want to try? I don't know. Right, let's clean, clean down this board and then Georgia can Hello. make some. She's munching. Is that nice, Georgia? Yeah. Is it jammy? Yeah, it should be nice. What one are you eating? Jam one. 
Oh. That'd be quite nice if you let it cool down and then put a bit of ice cream or whipped cream in the right, open it up, put some ice cream or whipped cream in the middle. That's good. Custard. Yeah, that'd be good. Can you get me another tree? No, in fact, it's okay, I'll put hers in after you. Right, Georgia. What flavour ones do you want to make, honey? Can I roll these out? Can you? Mine on. Yeah, you can put yours in the oven on. Right, so we'll start again with Georgia just so she's got a chance to do some as well. Don't take long. Were you watching Danielle do hers? Yeah. No? Do you know what we're making? No. <laughs> These little squares. I've got some different bits and bobs for you to put in yours. They fail. They've not touched the floor. Is that the oven fold the pieces? Yeah, you've only found. Yeah, but none of them touched the floor. Right, here. You want to gently roll that out for me? You bet. Roll that out? Yeah. Just make it a bit flatter and a bit bigger. You managed. We've made a couple with jam, just put in the raw blackberries. Oh, lush. Hi. How are you? We're going to do um, no bake cheesecake on Saturday. Hopefully, we can get to the shop. I'm doing those jam ones. Just jam ones? You're not making pizza ones. <laughs> you see the faces she's pulling here, rolling these. The cheese one, nice. Let me see the inside of the cheese one. It should have cheese the whole way through. That's the cheesy one. I it's love that like cheese. Like a cheese sausage roll. I want to make some more then. Right, do you want me to give you a hand? Yeah. Yep, so we'll do no big cheesecake on if Saturday. That, if that means that I'm, I'm just doing jam, can I eat a little bit of cheese? Remember someone said blueberry cheesecake? When we're done. Yeah, blueberry cheesecake. But we'll do what we'll do is a no bake cheesecake that's plain or chocolate and then anybody wants to put flavours or fruit in it. We can do. Oh. How many did we get out of that? Ten? I got um, eight out of mine. Eight, and I did three this morning. Is that, I know, I used that as well. Is that counting my extra one that I did? So we've got like 12 all together. She is rolling the pen. Seven, yeah. Right, so we've got 12 out of the first. You're not really talking. I'm rolling, I am. Talking's not rolling. Twelve little pockets out the first one. And we'll get twelve out of this as well. Right, Georgia, we need to cut this up into strips. I'm gonna do that note yep. that I'm doing. I'm just stretching it a little bit more because I don't know. it's quite fat. But I don't have a knife. Yeah, you can do it with a knife. Alright, I'm gonna I do it. I don't think Georgia's gonna like my pizza ones. I think you might need to make your own pizza ones. Right, if I'll just run a wee knife down it first of all just to show you where to cut. Pardon you. <laughs> right. And you can cut down those lines there, okay? So what do you like that? No, <laughs> down the lines mummy's just cut. That's it. Clever girl, well done. Okay. Wait, wait, I'll, okay. I'll do it. It's only a butter knife, but pizza cutter would be really good. I would have pizza cutter to cut this with, but I got ID'd for a pizza cutter in the pan shop last week, so <laughs> I don't have one. <laughs> I am from the Philippines. Hi! Wow, that's a long way away. How about what? The Philippines is the other side of the world. Oh my gosh! Hmm. Wait, so like I watched Jake Paul and he's like a lot of miles away and and they're watching us have a big fun and they live far away. Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm stretching hers out a bit because it's just a bit, a bit fat. There you go. Lovely. Wait, I right, no, nope. we need to cut them in half the other way now, and then you'll have loads. So yep. It. yep, straight across the middle like that. Wait, I'm just going to do a little line so I know where I'm doing it. Okay. Here, look at all. 
Well, I'm just stacking them up so they're out of the way. This is, these are going to last you for snacks for the next day. Wait, wait. So, do they live in America or something? Philippines, Elaine's watching. She's passed on to Holly. Holy got, We've got people in this group all over the world. Let me know where you're watching from in the world. George is interested. Make sure to subscribe to this. This is not a subscribe one. Right, are you managing? Well, this job. No, I, 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 who's the boss of this? <laughs> right, I'm going to pile up these ones that we're not using just now. I'll be on this side so it's easier for you. Good girl! No, no, because you need you need to fold them over. Okay, so let me show you. Yeah, right, you put yours down and I'll do one right next to you and show you what we're doing. So, you need to get a little bit of water and you just put it around the very top and sides on one half only, okay? So just one half because we're going to fold it in half in a wee minute. I'm sitting on top chair and Top bit, good girl. And then down this side. Right, what filling are you going to put in that? Just cover it all in water, yeah, that'll do. That's a nice squish. What filling are you going to put in it? What filling? What do you want to go in the middle? Do you want jam? Do you want pizza ones? Do you want just cheese? Mom. Did you stab the top of yours? Did you put a hole in them? No. <laughs> they might go like mine did. That's fine. They'll be fine. Do you want to make little pizza buns? Jam. Right, we've got... That's black currant jam. We've got raspberry jam. And a jam. Right, okay, calm down. Right. We didn't do a teaspoon. So do I just... Oh, hang on a wee minute. So do I... Spoon. Wait, so I just like smooth it all on? No, just put a big dollop of jam in the middle. So right, like half a half of one of those spoons. Right, this is going to be far too much. Hang on, stop. We need teaspoons. I don't know where they've all gone. They've all disappeared. Right, about a teaspoon's worth. Splodge it in the middle. That's right. Just in that, the middle of the top bit there. Because we're going to fold it in half. Perfect. Nope. Right. right. Fold it over now. Like you're making a sandwich. That's it. Perfect. Right. Now can you... Right, you need to press... No, you can't eat it yet. You need to press the edges down. Like that. But you know what's quite cool? What we were doing? Daniel, can you get me another fork, please? In the drawer. Loads of forks. I'll show you how to make it nice. Uh, do, I do, do you like my nails? It's tiger. Mm. Tiger. Right, so you just go like this. I know it's dark, isn't it? Okay, and press the edges. That one you don't need to press because that's the fold, but you can do both okay. the sides, okay? Right, fold. Oh, I'll do it. Press the edges in. Can I put the egg in this one? Yeah. What are you thinking of what you want? Onions. Yeah. That's going to be, right, not too many. Did I have them just onions? Right. No, not the right, that Cheese and stuff. Cheese and stuff. Should really do all the jammy ones first and then the onion ones because otherwise your jammy ones are going to taste like onions. There's some cheese. What flavour ones does Daddy want? What flavour ones do you want, Daddy? He's watching. Right, sprinkle some cheese on. I don't want, I don't want that on. You, don't, you, want, you just want an onion one? Well, it's not what it tastes like. Mm, it's a bit like. Yeah, I would definitely do cheese. He said just any, so I'll take like a jam one. Do you want to roll this up like a sausage roll? Yes. Okay, so if you roll it up like a sausage roll, just leave a little gap at the end. Okay. It's not got anything on. That's it, press it in really nice and tight. Good girl. Is that easier for you doing the rolly one? Yeah. Right, and yeah. you can just squish the ends a little tiny bit. Squish. Look at that. Is that easier for you to do? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, next one. Next one. Oh, you want to roll now. Right, maybe just stick to doing cheesy ones just now. And if you want any more jam, you can wash your hands and then do more jammy ones. Because otherwise, your jammy ones are going to taste like onion. Do you want the pizza spread? Yeah. Right, you can squidge a little bit on of that. And then we'll spread it out. That should be enough. Okay, let's get a clean spoon. Here we go. Spread it out a little bit. 
Lovely. Are you going to roll this one up like a sausage roll again? No, this is not. Mine's only took 25 minutes to make them. You're just having it like that, you're not even going to fold it up. You're just making a mini pizza like that. Pizza baguette. That'll be fine, you can do that if you want. Yeah, These are your snacks you're making. So I decide. So you decide, yep. Yeah. Right, let me just help a wee tiny bit. Just I, just, I think I need some more. I don't think you do. Okay, now I'm going to have some red cheese. Some cheese. Do you want me to bring it over a little bit for you? Do you want mushrooms or onion or anything? No. No, we don't have any pepperoni today, but you'd like that with pepperoni on, wouldn't you? Yeah, so that stuff, that many pizzas. That's just that one done? Yeah. <laughs> you love mini pizzas, don't you? Uh, okay, yeah, put that back on charge now. Mini pizza here. And she yes, we've still got horrendous oh, false right. nails on, but I'm still on holiday and the nail shop is shut just now. So. She uncharged my mum. Obviously, you wouldn't have big false nails on, really. Right, what one are you doing next? Right, I'm going to do... I've still got all my nails on. Let us know what fillings you're all putting in, or you're going to put in. Oh, you oh, you're on a pizza roll now, aren't you? Not too much. Sit there, shall we spoon there? Let's get this chap out of the way. Well done. Do you know what? I've got, you know, that nice chip seasoning that might be nice sprinkled on top. Yeah. Make it like a spicy pizza. The salt one. No, it's the like chili and. If you want, you could do any one like cheese, or you can even do pizza like I'm doing because this is just me or see the pizza one. It's just mine. Side of pizza. Yeah, I'm gonna make a cheese and pesto roll for Andy because he really likes pesto. It's a good job I got loads of cheese out, isn't it? Could you pass me a spoon, please? Sure, madam. Thank you. Don't Let's move these closer. This is our little. Right, not too many onions, darling. Be spicy. I'm happy now while watching you. Oh. What's a little pep? What is a little puppy watching us? No, <laughs> Lady telling us she's happy watching our live. What is that? Pesto. What stuff? I thought it was like. Never mind what you thought it was. Thanks. Yes, it's clean. All right, put this back on, please. Is that, is that one, one done? Did you take all your onions back off again? Yeah. Yeah. No, weren't onions on it. No. No, oh, alright, okay then. Just pizzas. Minute stop. Mine smell very nice. Many, many pizzas. They won't be long. So they take about 25 minutes. Then you can not eat when my pizza's one or you're going to be... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've cut my own. Thanks. Right, Andy likes mushrooms as well, doesn't he? Yeah, I don't think yeah. that's not great. Uh, yeah, please. Do you want that? Yes, please. Yeah, I thought you might. Not too much. That's enough. There we go. So just while nobody can get out to the shops very much, we're just trying to do a different... And if you're hungry and don't have any food and you can't go out because the shops are closed, you can just make stuff with your mum because my mum is a good artist. Well, good baker. Yeah, we're trying to do stuff that you don't maybe need to go to the shops for because it's quite hard to get. We can even make pineapple. Well, pineapple. There's no flour. Oh. There's no flour in the shops just now. Let's right. get some art stuff. Like Mushroom. This. Mozzarella, pesto, onion. This is dead full. This. Wait, we're running out of cheese. I'm gonna roll it up. Do you have any more cheese? I didn't use that whole thing. No, I've not used it all. That's fine. If I get any more cheese, I shall use a lot anyway. Squish the edges down. Are you doing a jam one for Daddy? After that. Or should have. Or should have got the bit more jam. It's alright. You've got the tomato puree on it anyway, so it's fine. What wonderful little pizzas. Oh, she's not rolling them do you, want some, do you want me to get you some little peppers to put on top of the pizzas? Do you like peppers on your pizzas? No. No? What but, are you doing, what but are you doing you now? you could get some more cheese. Some more cheese? Mum, you need to yes. make a jam one because that, the board's now covered. And... Oh, it's alright. There's loads of... You've done loads of jam ones. I'm sure you can share Oh, yeah. Add it. So yeah, you like, need to get more cheese. What, are you sure you need more cheese? You've only got two yeah. bits of pastry left. Yes, I need some more cheese, All please, right. Mum. More cheese, please, Dan. That's, that should be enough. No, it's not. Right, okay. You, you carry on. You did. carry on. She's 
cheese monster. Now if you want, you could do a pizza one or a garlic. Yeah, do you know that whole meat? Or a cheese. If you want that or cheese, just get some more cheese one, and you can make cheese. Right, that's enough cheese for you, okay? Okay. Let me just check on you. Oh, sure, this one's far off. Actually, Danielle, would you please get all these bits of jigsaw? Oh, <laughs> Danielle's have got about nine minutes left. What else would you put on your pizza ones if we had it in? Would you just have yeah, cheese, right. cheese and tomato? Oh, okay. oh, you've got loads of puree there. You're getting a bit sticky. Oh, Every time you tell me you're hungry for the next two days, that's all you're getting for your snacks, little pizzas. That's really tomatoey. Well, my choice. Mm hmm. It's my choice. Well, I think it'll be nice. That's what she, she wants to make anyway, so that's what she's making, isn't it? Yeah, Daniela. Don't be rotten. Georgina. Daniela. On the other. Ha! On the other. That's funny. Cheese, 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 cheese. So we don't need a glaze for George's ones. Chocolate spread and chocolate chips or chocolate spread and rollos I think would be really nice. Mini cheesy garlic breads. Okay, yeah. mum, look. Wow. It's pizza. <laughs> well done. Oh, yeah. Mine smells really nice. Well, did you just eat all the other ones that I made this morning? Yeah. Right, keep covering them in cheese, babe. Yeah, if you're doing a cheesy garlic bread, garlic, butter, your grated cheese, bit of parsley maybe. Can you get maybe. the peppers out? Mom, look, you can do some peppers for that. Christmasy. So now that you want, you can put peppers on it or anything mm -hmm. else. Like, because I've made fit on pizza ones. Well, one yeah, there's no pizza there. Do not taste it. Here, yeah, some peppers. Oh. <laughs> Get some peppers on. Let's move this up. Pie filling would be nice. You get pie filling ready made in tins. Raisins, if you're wanting a bit of extra fruit in for the kids, maybe some apple slices or some raisins sprinkled in about. Those pizzas look really yummy. What oh, a good job. Do you want any seasoning on them? No? Yes, seasoning. Seasoning the stuff that you do? Yes. Yeah. Yes. The stuff that we put on the chips yesterday. And now you want you can put that on your computer or your phone. Doesn't matter which one you use. Spicy you seasoning this one is so you'll need to wash your hands after you've used it and only put a little bit on. Now you can put seasoning on it. Oh that's too much. Oh well, it's all right. That'll be fine. It's made for going on chips, so that's We're fine. Be on that that one. For my other pizzas. You want it on all of your pizzas? Yes. Yeah, okay. This is just a chip seasoning, like a ready-made um, chilies and onion seasoning. No, just me who can eat them all after I just start cooked like. Calm down. <laughs> yeah. Right, go and wash your hands with some soap, please, while you've had a bit of chili powder and stuff. Go wash hands. Yeah, yeah you'll be ready in a minute. So, what did we forget to do with your one style? Um, put coals on the top. Mm -hmm. Pick what on the top? Daniel, Daniel did all little parcels and we forgot to stab them in the top to let the steam out. So. Well, you're not doing that to mine. Well, we don't need to do it to the pizzas because the pizzas are flat. Okay, now I can do it. Just put my nail in because I really need it. 
Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. How much is there? One, two, three, four, five. Now make sure that I do not run out of my favorite pizza food. What me and my mom George. So, mommy, listen to me. Promise you'll tell daddy this. Because he loves to eat it. So, so, you see, when I get hungry, mm-hmm. can you make me something? Can I make you something? No, you've just made your own snacks. Yeah, but. They'll be, okay, ready, they'll be ready in 20 minutes. But but I haven't even put them in the oven. Yeah, I'm going to put them in the oven in a second. I'm just going to take Danielle's ones out first. Uh, uh, sh- sh- I think we will be. Let me just check. I need to wash this jam and chilli sauce off my hands. Danielle, what other flavours would you do then if you, if you could put anything in them? What would you put in them just now? Uh, can you make like a Christmassy one like stuff? Christmassy stuff? What, like raisins and like ginger. apples and ginger? And... No, no, no. I'd do like... Um, all sorts of ones. Filipinos, so that's fire. Right, so use two mind out the way a second. Do you make mine? Right, so mine's the roll, that little roll in my Don't touch that straight, it's roasted. I can tell it's running the table. Danielle's that ready? Please don't get my pizza. Please don't touch it. Right, so I'm going to put them on a cooling tray. I hope my pizza, I hope my poor cheese don't go stringy. Make sure you Anyone put them on a line tray. Everyone like to you so if you don't like stringy, because I do not like string. What type like of tray do you need to go on, Georgia? What? <laughs> a line tray or they'll stick. I liked. I liked. I liked. I liked. I liked. All right. A little cooling mix gone to. Um, How many is George made all together? Then? I've made one. one. Eight. No, I've made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven? Eight. I didn't make that one. You better start your pastry. Right, so we've got eight of them. That's man's sign. Pizza sets. Right, these are far too hot for you to eat just now. Mm, okay. But you can let them cool down for five minutes. <laughs> let them cool down and then you can taste them. Like, like to be able, it's half Georgia, half Dan Dan. That's... Hot cheese and hot sugar out of the oven. Don't touch it, you'll burn your fingers. Yeah, it's quite hot. Wow, these smell gorgeous. They're probably probably a bit nicer hot, but it, I suppose it depends if you like hot ones or cold ones. They look really nice, Dan. Right, does anybody want to know anything before we go and cool. eat these? But this versus this. Have you got any questions or anything coming up on the phone? Um, I've got a question. What's your question? How many ducks? How many ducks and pizzas? I eat seven hundred. How many would the chicken eat? Zero. Cause I ate them all like a big chubby Santa. <laughs> um. You're no wise. Oh. No, I don't think anybody wants to know anything else. Bye bye, little pizzas. I'm gonna right. eat you. So. So be pretty. No bake cheesecake on Saturday. We'll put the ingredients okay, up for that. Okay, now can we go back to my tablet? We'll put the ingredients up for that. <laughs> we'll do them. Okay. Let's see. That's so our finished pockets. They are absolutely roasting. They look really nice. They do look really nice. I'm hungry. I went. I want to taste that. They smell really good, actually. And do you know what? These are. These are really good size for kids' hands. They look massive, but they're not. They're only like. I need to find a jam one for Ian. I think a lot of these is cheese. You can see the ones that have had the brown sugar on top as well. That's a jam one. I'll take that yeah, one. Yeah, that's a jam one. Whereas these ones with the cheese, you can just see the cheese poking out the sides. Just nicely done. So that was just 20 minutes. Gas seven, they've come out like that. So we'll take some pictures of George's pizzas and let you know. Give me some pictures down below. Show me what you've all been doing and we'll speak to you soon.